Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to some more boy with me, your sexy, beautiful host, and his amazing man voice, as usual. Alright, so I just trashed the last run because I got number one, got to Pestilence, and couldn't do anything against him, so that was very not fun. I didn't say anything very interesting, so he didn't really miss very much of my sexy voice. Ouija board's interesting. I get less like every other run, so... We'll probably take Ouija board. I like Ouija board. Ouija Ouija. Ouija 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 But I will probably re-roll whatever my boss room is, if it's bad. Well, here's the thing. The last run went down. I got number one in my first item room. It seemed like a good idea. I got a tears downgrade. And, uh... It didn't work. <laughs> It just ended up with me being very frustrated getting to Pestilence and not being able to even hit him because he was doing so much fucking atrocious shit that I couldn't do anything. So anyways, what I was going to talk about is a um, new coffee maker. I got a brand new coffee maker. Isn't that just the most interesting story you've ever heard? Famine, how is it hanging? I fought you on the last run 20 seconds ago. I got past Famine with no problem, but I was taking an absurd amount of damage because I couldn't hit anything. And I forgot that number one is probably one of the worst items I can find. I don't really like it. I don't know. So I'm going to definitely take Spectral Tears this, this floor. Primarily because I find it to be a good upgrade. I don't really think it's a bad thing. Maybe not the greatest uh, first item in the game, but it, it's a prerequisite of good things to come. Unless I got something good like uh, One Heart Mom's Knife Deal. I'd probably take that. I don't know. It's possible. It's all possible, baby. So here's what I'm trying to do, though, is Platinum got the game. The last items I had to find are Guppy's Hairball and a fourth level cube of meat. So get a fourth level meat boy, you know, and um, <clears throat> beat the game as Samson, which is easier said than done. I, I fucking can't do that. And, of course, the no damage on the, um, I think, it's probably not the womb. It's, I, I know I've 100% no damaged on the womb before. I have the achievement to prove it, man, because all this stuff is very relevant. Let's, let's see if I can find a secret. Okay, that looked very convincing, so don't blame me. Blame the internet. I will definitely take the Ouija board, though. I, I don't find this a bad thing to get. It's an okay item. Not something to fuck with in real life, though. I will admit that with an honest heart. I don't know, everyone that's been like, oh, let's go get a Ouija board, go down to the river, smoke some joints, you know, just fuck around with the ghosts. I'm like, no, you don't do that shit, fucking, you're gonna, you, you, no. That's all there is to it. It's like, well, why not? Because you just don't. That's all there is to it. As my great-grandmother told me, and my grandmother told me, and my mother told me, and my dad told me, don't mess with dousing rods, don't mess with Ouija boards, man. As, you know, pretty much most, uh things that I believe in say don't don't do that anyway so I'd rather not because then you get you know you might uh I don't know I don't know what'll happen I just don't want it to I don't want some fucking ghost wandering around my house I'm trying to take a shit and he's just like hey how's it going I'm like dude I know you're dead and all you had no sense of courtesy but knock holy shit that is a lot of money we just picked up in one floor that is uh excuse my language but fucking awesome yeah, it's like, dude, I don't want that in my house. Get that out of here. We don't gotta... We, who am I gonna call? What? So, every time. Here we go. Good thing I had that orbital, because I would've taken damage on something that doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to mess with that. N neither should you. you. You got better things to do with your life than, uh, ghost hunts. I don't know. I tried that when I was younger, and, uh... I'm not gonna say it's a really good profession, but it's not something you want to try out. Uh... This is getting a little bit too personal, I think. Bottom line, don't do it. I don't even remember what I was talking about because it's like two seconds I got interrupted. I need a key is what I need right now. So, all right, there we go. Oh, Pro Dodge, 360 no scope, off the Wasu, wall bang. This coffee maker makes some damn good coffee. I haven't had, I got a new coffee maker. I think I've already addressed this. I'm not really sure because this was, I also did like a half of a video in the last episode. So, if I got two keys, I definitely go into the shop. Um, thank you very much. Now, what else? I'm gonna leave that spirit heart alone. I know that sounds like, what are you thinking, man? What I'm thinking is, um... Uh, I'm looking at this turtle here on my desk and thinking I should probably get a tarantula someday. I don't have a real turtle, by the way. I I don't know if anybody knows this, but I'm a, a, a hardcore arachnophobe. No. Um... No. I'm a hardcore arachnophobe. Not that I'm like... Oh, spiders are yucky. They're grody. Ooh, questionable drugs are... 
luck down and telepills. So that was pretty worthless. We know where our secret room's at, at least. But I was going to say, yeah, telepills. Like, I was, oh, yeah, tarantulas. I'm thinking of buying a tarantula. Um, I know that seems kind of like a, what are you fucking thinking kind of thing. Ah, son of a bitch. If we can't go to the shop, I'll, I'll use the uh, portable slot. <clears throat> as as turned out in the last episode, um, I think portable slot might be a good idea here. Um, but yeah, I I don't know if buying a tarantula is the best idea, but maybe some sort of large large. Oh god damn it! Anyways, I'll probably play the uh, slot machine and see if I can get a um, a bomb from it. I'm guaranteed with twenty cents, you gotta at least get a bomb or something. Um, but yeah, definitely, I, I, I enjoy arachnids. I find them to be... Oh shit, that was bad damage. Um, I like arachnids. I like spiders. I like uh, creepy crawlies. I, I love snakes. I actually love snakes. Um, I just don't like spiders. Fucking... Uh. In my first book, there's actually a quote. God, whatever they say, did not make those eight-legged fucking scary things. That is the best thing I've ever said philosophy-wise. It's just, uh, I don't like spiders. I, I've had a bad experience when I was younger. Um, I woke up with a giant wolf spider on my fucking forehead. Yeah, it's good to know if I continuously attempt this, my car is going to get broken into. So, we have another luck down pill, which might be, uh, not bad. A full health pill? Please be a health up. Oh, baby, please. Okay, this is where you just say, hold my wiener, we're going to go balls deep. Okay, pills are definitely looking like an upside in our pill rotation, so getting pills from the slot machine is going to be my number one priority. And that is awesome. If I get two keys, I'll definitely open up that golden, sl uh, golden slot, golden chest, and let's see what we do. I'm just going to keep talking because I feel like I've been uh, interrupted like time, nine times. So, bottom line, I like spiders, but I had a really bad experience when I was younger where... Um, I was asleep and, oh, that's another balls of steel pill. I was asleep, fucking pills galore, man. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I was asleep and a fucking wolf spider or something. I know it was probably not a wolf spider. It was probably a uh, common giant house spider, which is what, oh shit. Um, that was lucky. That's what they're called. Giant house spiders are the ones you see most commonly in North America. And um, it was like sitting just on the tip of my nose and I'm, I'm nearsighted so it's not like I couldn't see what it is. Nearsighted if you're unfamiliar just means you can't see very far away from you. I can see I love when people be like dude can you see my hand I'm flipping you off. I'm like dude you're right in front of me how the hell could I not see what you're doing and so I would do that and anyways the, the thing was sitting right in front of my face and I was not very happy about it basically and I'm pretty sure I screamed like a little girl even the little girls don't scream that much. They usually, I don't know, they screech? I don't know. L let's get this last poop out of the way and get the, uh, make, make min-maxing a top roll priority here. We're definitely going to get that, uh, oh, hello again. Every play with pills right now is probably going to be a good one. And that's all I can say. This is shaping out to be 900 times better than the last run I tried recording. Even though I've been interrupted like five times. So, oh, this game just does not want me to quit. It's like handing me a loaded heroin needle and saying, Hey, you want to quit? Oh my goodness. Okay. So, we have been getting a lot of questionable drugs. I don't know what this this white pill is, I don't think. So, full health pill, which is something I will definitely hold on to. A speed upgrade, which is a lovely thing. A tears upgrade, which is a lovely thing. And another balls of steel thing, which is amazing. We'll take that full health pill with us. We're going to take our D6 back. Portable slot. Don't let anybody tell you different. You're fucking beautiful. Let's hope we get some little bit more money out of the um, <clears throat> golden chest here. And I think this is going to be a pretty good one. Okay, two more keys. That's freaking amazing by most people's standards. I enjoy that quite a bit. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, there's three more cents over here, so I will definitely go back and... Okay, our double secret room is going to be a... Red chest, which contains a deal with the devil, which... Uh... Definitely. I can't... Okay, I was going to say, can I not take the mark? Okay. So we'll have an extra spirit heart as well. I'm okay with rolling on one heart. That sounds like really risque. But, you know, I'm totally comfortable rolling on one heart. 
We have three more plays on our portable slot machine. And, I mean, extra stuff. I mean, there could be a health upgrade pill in our rotation. You never know. Um, and with this luck, I'm actually going to get that money. I know this sounds really greedy and really sketchy, but we have not found our secret room yet. And it could be right here. Okay, never mind. I think that's the game's way of saying to me, dude, you've had enough to drink. You don't need to drive. But then again, part of me tells me to go into the challenge room here. Um, I've already been in the curse room, so there's nothing in there I could probably want. Let's just see what is in here, because I'm fine fighting basement monsters. Golden chest contain an HP upgrade. Okay, two cents and a bomb. That's fine by my standards. We have a damage upgrade, so these enemies are going to die in like less than two hits. I think I was talking about arachnids, and then I got really, like, sidetracked. Anyways, yes. Um, I'm thinking someday, not, not, not in my current living condition, I might buy a tarantula. Um... When I was in high school, we used to have a... I do know what it was. It was a rose hair tarantula um, called Rosie. Oh, we've already been to our secret room, Seth. You stupid son of a bitch. Anyways, um... Yeah, we used to have a tarantula in my science class. And I... Uh, I held it, and it freaked the living shit out of me. Okay, so another spirit heart is pretty much life insurance at this point. That's good. We could go in the... the shop but there's no reason to do it we couldn't fight greed on the basement floor <clears throat> so onward to the next floor we go it's been a long episode so far maybe like five ten minutes on the first floor that's a luck down pill you know actually if you have low enough luck you can actually spawn chests which is probably a more preferable thing at this point so that went really well onwards to catacombs with more damage more damage is always a good thing they say. I, gee, I don't know what the fuck that... I did my Jim Cummings impersonation for all of a sudden. Maybe it's because I have a stellar run starting. And that's always a good feeling. We have the keys and a reroll ready. If I had the ability to fly or a spirit heart generator, I'd probably abandon the D6. Well, if I had a spirit heart generator, I'd abandon the D6. See, this is why I, I got that luck down pill. Anarchy, or Book of Shadows is tempting, but not... Not something I'd take with me. Sister Maggie's okay, but I would really like to sell for something a little bit better. This is where I don't like playing with the D6, because I get really greedy with my rerolls, and I'll be like, ah, it's a good item, but fuck it, you know? I don't know. We have a good start, and as long as I don't take absurd amounts of ridiculous damn damage, we should be set, basically. But I keep trying to talk about these fucking spider stories. Oh, yes. I, I tried telling this story in my Diablo 2 series once. Um, there was a large, probably an orb weaver type spider. I don't know. It was like giant yellow and purple. And it just sat there in front of my house, my old house, um, when I was younger. And my mom just said, quit being such a pussy. And just threw this um, like yellow flap of plastic or whatever it was supposed to be. She threw it at the spider and it exploded. And it just went like this purple... Oh, it wasn't purple. It was probably blue, because spiders have uh, blue blood from a lack of... They don't have... They have copper in their bloodstream, not not actual, like, uh, hemoglobin like humans have. We have hemoglobin. Spiders have hema something. It's not globin. Theirs isn't um, iron-based blood like ours is iron and something else. I'm anemic, if you ever wonder. I actually am anemic. It's not very fun. Um, I don't take iron supplements like I probably should. Shoop to whoop is a pile of poop, so we're gonna just keep going and hopefully get something better. Um, I really th am starting to think that full health pill is kind of a dumb idea at this point because it's kind of redundant. I only have one HP, but you know, you, you never know. So we have a good range as well. I don't know if I picked up a range upgrade. I probably didn't, but it feels like I did. Maybe it's just because my ego is highly inflated right now from picking up a good uh, set of items on the first floors. Maybe that. I don't know. <clears throat> If I find our secret room, I'll definitely see if I can make the shop worthwhile. So, we're not going to get a, technically a double re-roll, whatever you want to say. Um, okay, that was really lucky. Um, so, we're probably going to re-roll shoop to whoop no matter what. That's like all there is to it. We're not going to take a deal with the devil item. We don't have a spirit heart generator, so I'm not... Oh, yeah. So, we're not going to take a deal with the devil item because I have no confidence in my health situation at this point but 
if the opportunity arose in a normal circumstance, oh hell yes. So the Fallen is essentially a deal of the devil. That's, that's, it's golden. I've taken a half a heart of damage like an idiot that I am. Now imagine if we fought him and then got Krampus. I'd probably reroll whatever Krampus has. I have a very high chance of getting a deal with the devil, essentially. I think I have more than a 75% chance. I haven't taken a single heart of red heart damage, so that takes a good precedence over it, if I'm not mistaken. I don't hardly ever fight Krampus. I don't really like fighting Krampus, because he's like fighting the Fallen, and I don't like fighting the Fallen that much either. This brings back really bad flashbacks of um, when I first started playing the game and couldn't beat Satan, so go figure. Um, the Necronomicon is a total reroll. We're probably end up not gonna. Uh, Demon Baby's okay. And what was in our. Oh, a Shoop de Whoop, so. We lost a Spirit Heart. And I don't see any plausible spots where the. S no, actually, I think I know where the secret and the s second secret room is at. And if we do get enough money from both of these, um, I'll definitely go into the shop. <clears throat> Okay, that... no? Excuse me, princess. Maybe? Okay, I give up hope completely. There's nothing I could buy in the um, shop. It would be a waste of a key, even if I fought Greed. You know what, let's see if we can fight Greed so we have at least some money set up to maybe spawn an arcade on the next floor. I don't know if that's a good idea, but it could be. Damn it. Uh, nothing in here would have been worth buying anyways. Let's just shoot the fire and hope for the best. So I got Demon Baby, and um, I think a Spirit Heart this entire floor. I lost one, so... Really didn't gain very much from this floor. Which is not really bad, though. We got another Tears upgrade from a pill. And that's nothing to be mad about. I ain't even mad. This is a s kind of a scary room, but not really scary. Demon Baby, useful. Become useful. Do it. Make me proud that I picked you up. Because I would have rerolled Shoop the Whoop and probably gotten something better. I wish he showed up first. I hate leaving at least an item behind. Because back in the day when you didn't have the D6, you didn't really do that. You know what I mean? You, you kind of just stuck with what you got. And that is uh, another Tears upgrade pill, if I can not hurt myself. Um, This is just kind of an unassuring thing to have at this point. Okay, so Caves 2 is not my preferred thing. I'd rather have Catacombs, because I also have the damage to make Catacombs even easier. I keep forgetting I have uh, Spectral Tears, by the way. This whole episode started with me ranting about not fucking with Ouija boards. Huh, pretty sure. So that's why I took those two luck down pills, if you were wondering, was to spawn chests. Because when you have a low, low enough luck, you start spawning chests like batshit crazy. Um, let's get Safety Gate crazy. I'm definitely going to go fight the boss first. Because I want to make sure this reroll gets used effectively. Um, gentlemen, would you please just stop shooting so I can feel a little bit more comfortable about myself? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And it is going to be Peep, who is probably my least favorite boss in the entire game. I just do not enjoy fighting Peep at all. It's a personal preference. I just would rather not fight you. Out of all the enemies in the game, I think Peep is probably the hardest boss in any situation. The bloat is even worse. I don't know. Peep is easy, but he's not. It's just the, uh... It's the the eyes and the, the floor gets all dirty, and it's hard to see what's going on after a while. And if you if you have Peeper's eye, even worse. If he can't fly and he pisses everywhere, it's even more of a mess to try and clean up. I just don't enjoy fighting him at all. It's a personal thing. I'd rather not fight him. Ever. Maybe in Rebirth he'll be uh, a little bit more rebalanced. He has so much HP that it really is a testament to how much damage you're doing in a run. Because if you don't have a lot of HP and you're fighting something like Peep or the Bloat, it's uh, usually... I'm surprised it didn't take damage. It's usually a really annoying thing. So Squeezy is a Tears upgrade and two Spirit Hearts, which I'm perfectly fine with taking. And now our reroll is back in the air. <clears throat> Just like my wiener. So... Run wise, we're doing okay. We just need a little bit more of a, a little bit more reassurance, baby. A little bit closer, a little bit predictable. I don't know what what tool song I'm trying to butcher right now. I really don't. I'm pretty sure it's not even tool. I'm pretty sure it's a perfect circle, but I'm just too lazy to remember what it is. 
I have a feeling our item room is over here, and it is. Thank you so much, game, for not being so ham-fistedly dumb. Oh, yeah, you saw that ninja skill. Don't even act like you're not impressed. You want this number called 1-800-DICK-SUCK-A-DICK. -a -a Another Eminem song I've completely ruined. Oh, well. Doesn't bother me too much, because I will always be the pimp that I've seen all of my fantasies. Let's keep butchering more songs. Speed upgrade, I already have a speed upgrade, so I'll totally re-roll that, get five bombs out of it, and ignore that, and keep re-rolling the shit out of you. The only reason I like Boom is because it gives you five bombs. So that's about it. Um, other than that, eh, eh, eh. There we go. That's all I had to do with it. Just just gave myself a little fist pump in action, a little bit of Super Metroid-ass action right there. Props to anybody that knows what I'm talking about. Exactly. Exactly. And we'll probably get another reroll. I'm not saying we will. I'm just saying we probably might. I would appreciate it. I really would. So our tiers are great. Damage is... Eh, it's alright. One more damage upgrade would probably be the uh, game breaker for me. I would like that. But, you know, if I got everything I wanted in this world, it would be a really scary fucking place. The hermit card I'll totally use. Um, and ooh. Um, this is interesting. So, now if I got Bloody Penny, <laughs> we all know what happens when I get Bloody Penny. Um, but I don't think it's really going to be much useful right now. There's a lot of trinkets I'd like to take. I'll still take that full health pill, by the way. Okay, I almost ran into spikes. Um, out of all the items in that whole that shop, I would probably take the, uh, the uh, purse. Just because it's, at least I know it's something that will help me out later on. <clears throat> Especially if I get like the curved horn, I'd have essentially another damage upgrade, and I'd be perfectly fine with that. I wouldn't be like perfectly it symmetrical, but I'd be perfectly asymmetrical. How's that? That's right, I know the opposite of symmetrical is asymmetrical, because I just took really dumb damage on something that really is easy to dodge. Much dodge. Wow, Seth, how could you? Okay, I don't know. I don't know either, so... Now you see why I like taking luck downgrades. Exactly. Unless you're playing as Kane, then you really don't want to. Because, you know, when you're playing Kane, you just have to be uh, cautious and not think about what anything you're doing is. I like playing as Kane. He's my favorite character, by the way. Don't get me wrong. I should be able to go into this uh, room, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. But let's see what we got first, though. Fuck yes, I'll take meat. Um, that's another slight damage upgrade, and I would love that just because it's another HP upgrade. So... I wouldn't probably use this last remaining HP on a uh, deal with the devil, though. I'd probably just hold on to it. See, we're doing really good damage at this point. And uh, I, I find myself in a really good position. Um, talking about spiders and Ouija boards and, you know, playing the shit out of that uh, portable slot machine was probably the uh, best decision this whole run had entirely. I don't know. This is turning out to be pretty good. Um, let's make it even better, shall we? I'll tell you what we can do. We can get naked, and then we can play Russian Roulette on top of Twister. You thought I was a twisted motherfucker, wait till you see what happens after that. And, let's see, another chest, which is gonna be another Balls of Steel pill! Oh yes, I am so happy right now. This is probably one of the best runs I've had in a long time. Not the best run I've ever had, but one of the best. Um, so let's go... Okay, there goes one Spirit Heart down the dick. Um, that didn't really make me very happy. But I, I think I got a little bit too full of myself. So maybe I'll become bulimic and, you know, not really worry about that so much anymore. So, Mom's bra is not really that good. I doubt we're going to get another reroll, but I have been proven wrong before. And that's why I'm not going to leave the floor. All the women on the dance floor. Exactly. I've, I've only been to, like, one dance, and I'm not going to lie. I was the guy that stood on stage and got everyone bumping and jumping and grinding and pounding, so it's not like I don't know how to dance or, uh... Dad's key is a worthless item, so we're just going to get that out of the pool. That's like when you put a Snickers bar in the pool and say it's a turd, and then you're just like, dude, why would you eat that? It's all nutty. Gross. Stop it. Caddyshack reference for the win. Um, but yeah, it's like, I, I've prom. Everyone everyone who was there remembers I was the guy that was like, yo, everyone get the fuck up. Exactly. And the library is uh, tempting. Um... I have four keys, and I might as well, because I could get Book of Revelations and get a Spirit Heart for funsies. But also, I could get most of the items out of the pool as well. Another Spirit Heart. And I got bitches crawling off their birthday suits. I don't get anything else from this floor, probably. So, maybe getting um, the item from the, 
the book sh the book thing, you know what I mean? The library, the biblioteca, would probably be the best idea in the world. And yes, I know how to speak Spanish. I'm not completely illiterate. I'm not a complete illiterate American, as most people probably think I am. Um, and there's nothing that's gonna give me any real benefit. What? Well, I bet you're gonna get sister Ma sister Maggie. Okay, brother Bobby, whatever. I I was close at least. I wish that actually paid off. If it, if it was a more useful item, it, I'd, I'd love that item. Imagine this. If, Ma if Monster Manuel gave you a permanent familiar, but the book wore off after you... I can't believe I just did that. I was rubbing my eye, not my wiener, so... Um, <clears throat> basically, I was going to say, if Monster Manuel actually gave you a familiar... It's kind of like Forget Me Now, you know? Forget Me Now, after you use Forget Me Now, it... um. It just, you know, disappears. What if Monster Manuel gave you a random familiar that you don't have, um, but disappeared after you used it? Dude. That's some cryptic science bullshit right there. Exactly. That's like when you go on Wikipedia and you look up, uh, like, sleep, and then you see, like, this really old 1970s, like, like, fucking acid trip painting. I don't know. I haven't... I make an allusion to this in my third book I've wrote. But, um, Whatever. Doesn't matter right this minute. Um, let's get rid of little chub. Or chub, whatever the hell. You can eat a bomb. And tell me how it tastes. Type your number back. Follow up by the pound key. I'll bring you some pound town. We'll fuck a bear with no mitts. You know. That was actually something I have written. It was a story called it was really fucking terrible. And I ex completely eradicated it after I wrote it. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that if it went like this, I finished it, let a couple of my friends read it, they laughed their asses off, and I said, yeah, enjoy it, fuckers, I'm just gonna erase this completely. I picked it up out of my notebook and threw it in the trash can and ripped it to shreds before anyone could even possibly read anything that I wrote. Because it was quite horrible. Let, let, let's go with the breakdown of the basic synopsis. Let's just, no, that, that was too graphic to even think. Let's just censor the whole entire thing out, what I just said. You're not missing anything. Um... Let's just pretend that never happened because editing is the best thing on earth. Bottom line, there was a bear, there was a girl, gives her a concussion. Let's never talk about this ever again. I don't even like bringing up that stupid story. It's probably one of my least favorite things I've ever done as an author. and I, I, I just feel fucking atrocious whenever I talk about that. I'm just like, ugh. Ugh, so dark and seedy. It's the it's the bad side of me that no one wants to hear. Um, I don't like those creepy fucking writers. Like, oh man, I wrote a fanfic. We all know how I feel about that. Fan fiction's not writing. It's just bullshit angst, and I don't consider it to be any sort of skill. I'm very sorry if you're a fanfic writer, but you should probably do something more productive with your time, and I don't consider it a viable form of writing. I wrote in fanfic, but it was like when I was like 10 years old and thought Mortal Kombat was the coolest thing with two wheels. Um, it still is to this damn day, but it was like a rehash of Deadly Alliance, and yeah, it was pretty cool. I still remember how it goes, too. It was something like um, Liu Kang, his ghost was trying to fight with Moloch and Draman in Shang Tsung's palace, trying to warn Katana, hey, yo, I'm fucking dead, you should probably fix that shit. It was probably something that would actually work in the storyline, but you know what, who gives a shit? Um, X-Ray Goggles is not good enough. I don't really like it. Dead Sea Scrolls is probably not the best thing for it to turn into. And it gave me the Book of Sin, which gave me a Tarot card, which gives me the Emperor card, which is probably a little bit more valuable than the, uh, full health pill, but we'll keep the full health pill in mind. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna censor that whole thing about the, uh, the book I wrote, the short story I wrote that I just immediately threw away five minutes after I let my friends read it. Let's just not ever bring that up ever <clears throat> ever again there's a uh, just i don't know it's like that one thing i'm ashamed of having ever wrote i i have very few instances of things i've wrote that i was very ashamed of and it's not like you know i'm like oh i wrote this like one story so therefore i'm an author no dude i wrote two and a half fucking novels and at least 160 some odd short stories and like 300 something poems so I, I can officially say I'm a writer, and, you know, I used to write game reviews for GameStop back in the day when GameStop was, or GameSpot, I should say, before they were a seedy motherfucking company. And, um, bottom line, it, my friend got me banned because he went on my account and dicked around, literally, and I, uh, 
Really didn't appreciate that very much, so... Yeah. I, I, so it's like, I'm not like gonna say I'm a not a writer. That's what I mean. I, I hate people that are like, oh, dude, I wrote like a ten, ten things. You know, and this is really bad, because my senior paper was on... Um, my senior speech and topic was on therapeutic writing and all the benefits it has, uh, as opposed to doing something like meth, basically. Uh, it was really serious. I still have it in here somewhere. Um... It was one of the few situations where all my teachers were like, yeah, you can totally use your own stuff as a source. And I was like, holy shit, that is so cool. But, um, yeah, it's like, I don't really consider it like, oh, I wrote five poems, I'm a writer. Yeah, dude, you can be a writer, but, I mean, you have to have experience and know what everything is. Writing is a lot like art. I've taken six years of art classes. I know a whole lot about shit like that. It's, it's, it's art with words, and it still applies all the logic you can have with everything else. You can't be like, poop, dick, done. Yeah, there is such a thing as simple writing like that. It's called, um, isn't this the Depths XL? I already forgot. Um, I think it's Depths XL. I mean, yeah, it's Depths XL. I was like, yeah, you can write abstract pieces like that. There's, like, one of the most notorious works is, I think it's, like, a 10-word, or I don't remember. It's, like, sh baby shoes for sale, never worn. Just let that sink into your mind for, like, five seconds, and you'll go, holy shit, that's so terrifying. That is so sad. It's like that, yeah, you can do that, but that doesn't make you a writer. That just means you wrote a short piece of work. It's technically yes, but it's technically no. I don't like to get on this conversation because people would probably not understand what I'm talking about. Because I, I, I've I, written... I was the guy that they used examples of their his work in my junior year. I wrote this um, anti-censorship paper because I don't believe in censorship at all. I'm not saying... And this is where people were like, dude, you're kind of an idiot. I'm a hippie at heart, but I'm not really a hippie. So they're like, oh, dude, so you're saying my 10-year-old cousin should watch hardcore porn. I'm like, no, that's not something you should do. Um, that's something that is something more borderline to parenting than it is, um, you know. Anyways, my, my paper was so well written, they actually used it as a school example for junior papers because we had to make a junior sort of thing to prepare us for our senior speech. And that was what mine was on. And I use, like, really good citing and everything. And people are like, holy shit, this is really good. And I was like, yeah, it's just, it's just wiping my dick right now. So, yeah, it was something I'm pretty proud of. I, I don't think very many people probably on here understand that I, I really am a smart person. I played stupid in high school for obvious reasons. You don't want to be the smart guy. I was a straight-A student. Everyone knew it. I was the guy that everyone talked to, like, hey, can you help me with my paper? Or, you know, hey, you want to... I need something to talk to, because this shit's not going good in my life. And I'm like, oh, sure, whatever, I'll listen to you. you know, even though I'm, like, the worst example of uh, that in general. But, you know, it was like that. I was the... I don't want to be the guy, but I was one of those guys that was the nicest guy and really popular. It's like, I didn't want to be... I had someone come up to me, same person who told me that story, um, if you've seen my 300th video where I talk about... Um, shit, that was close. Uh, where I talk about... The, do you know how to play that? The same woman was like, oh, so she she approached me. She was like, oh, you know, you, you really, Seth, you need to be, like, not stupid, basically. She's like, oh, you need to, like, make sure you use your brain power to good and better yourself. You act so stupid that it bothers me, but you're so smart. I'm like, that's because I don't want to be like you. And there you go. Exactly. I don't find being smart to be a good thing. I find it to be a very downgrading thing. I find it to be one of the worst things on the planet to be smart because it shows you were... Either, I, I'm really philosophical, too, and I don't like to bring these sort of things up on a casual thing like this, but I don't know. It's like if you're really smart, then it shows that you, like... I'm really trying to think of how to word this because now I really worked myself into a corner. Mmm, scapular is okay, but I'll leave it alone for here. Um, being smart can be good, but it can also be bad. It shows that you know too much, if you will. Nobody likes that person that's like, Hey, you guys are so stupid, you used a, you used a semicolon instead of a fucking apostrophe. Or not an apostrophe, a comma. Okay, you used a, you used a colon instead of a semicolon. You're an idiot. That kind of shit really bothers me. There's a line of grammar Nazi in me, but I don't really have it that much. I don't remember what that pill is. I think it's a speed upgrade, which is actually okay by my standards. Um, yeah, it's like you can be a grammar Nazi, hardy hard, but whatever. It's not really, uh, this is probably gonna be one of the dumbest things I'll do, so I'll probably buy those. Both of those later. 
but it doesn't make you look good. You know what I mean? No one wants to be that guy that everyone doesn't want to talk to because he's so smart that it's just like you feel intimidated by their intellect. It's really something I live my life by. I find education to be really great, and you can do whatever you want with your education. No one can take that away from you, but you just shouldn't be an asshole about it. That's the best way to put it. No one likes an asshole except other assholes and sadists and masochists. No, no one likes whips and chains unless you're into that sort of thing, but uh, I'm not, so... Been uh, offered it, but I'm like, no, I'm, I'm cool. I'd rather not lose my dick to a saw blade right now. Not something I'm interested in, so I'll probably take scapular. That's the... Number one thing. This is a really long XL4. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably take scapular, but I I don't want to really reroll it necessarily. It's interesting because I don't really like scapular. I have enough health to make it worthwhile. We're not at a half heart though, so it's really hard to make use of it this early. If I found a blood donating machine though, I'd probably use it out of you know force and habit. I'll probably find a room for the D, uh, d20 to use i can't explain this anyways you get what i hope you get what i'm saying I, i'm really smart i just don't like to be it's a kind of a curse and a blessing at the same time because then you know too much or you know too little you don't want to be that guy if you want to be my lover though you gotta get with my friends you know what i'm saying of course you do so i'm not really sure if i want to use the d20 at all because Personally, there's not very many rooms here I've found that have a lot of stuff in it, so I'm probably going to re-roll the d20 and keep scapular, if at all possible. Oh, that was shitty damage. Um, I'm thinking that if I get 20 cents, I will go and buy the Book of Revelation. I will go buy the Spirit Heart. At this point, I'm probably going to have to. Um, so that's my course of action, son. Let's do that shit. Okay, Isaac's Fork is kind of worthless, but we'll hold on to it just because it's a trinket for a few minutes. I should probably shoot that fire to guarantee myself maybe another penny, but you know what? That was like the luckiest dodge of all time. Saved by the bell, which I've never liked. You know, I never like shows like uh, Degrassi and shit like that. It's not even accurate to high school life. Let's put it this way. None of that shit's even close to what it's really like. <clears throat> Where I went to, there was hardly any drama. God damn it. Uh, there's hardly any drama. None of that should even happen. We had a lot of kids that were pregnant, but that was just during my senior year. But Either way, don't let that show kind of fool you into high school douchebaggery because it's not really like that, and it never will be, unless you're a complete dipshit, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this is an easy room. So it's no real... Oh, I could technically have got one more reroll on the mom's heart item, or mom, mom item, but... That's kind of... Well, yeah, I can still do it. I still can. Um, so... So, 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 so... What do we want to do? I'm going to try and get the Book of Revelation in that soul heart. So, one more penny. Should do the trick. Tien penny. I really want to get the secret room, just because it can also contain money, or it contain another item. Because I've seen a... I'm not sure if this is already on this run or not. Okay, fuck. Starting to run out of my options here. Um, there's a lot of possibilities for... Let's try and get the pennies from the fire. That's like the most likely thing at this point. Um, excuse me. Squeeze me. Squeeze me. Okay, don't squeeze me. Whatever. Um, it's fine by my standards. So we're going to go and reroll the... Um, whatever the hell this is, I forgot. Okay, the pill bottle is actually probably really good. Full health pill. It's a little bit worthless. There's now two full health pills on the map. Let's try and see if it's right here. Oh my god, this is like the most elusive cock secret room I've ever tried to find. I really am destined to find this at this point. I really want to find it. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we're definitely going to go buy a book of Revelation and the Spirit Heart. We'll have five cents, I think five or ten. I, I don't feel like doing math right now. I know it's more prudent to um, probably use it, use the uh, money. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to do this. I'm going to play, I'll save five cents for the spirit heart, but we'll keep doing this just to make sure I actually, um, oh, such shit. 
A tears upgrade's fine. That's cool by my standards. So now we're definitely going to go. I'm not going to try and tempt fate with that um, slot machine. I don't have Mon's Purse, so it's kind of pointless. I'll take Scapular. That's a no-brainer, basically. Kind of a worthless item at this point, but it could come in handy later on. Well, no, yeah, actually, if I take another half a Spirit Heart of Damage, I can probably make use of it. So we'll probably end up fighting War as our first boss. And we can always reroll Book of Revelation into something else if I can manage to get a Teleport card. Maybe. I don't know. I have that Emperor card, but I'm going to save it for the uh, Cathedral. Or probably... You know, let's use our last three cents on this. Um, it's probably worth it at this point. Because we have such good pills. And... I really hope we get another pill. Another Balls of Steel pill would be really good. Okay, so we have three Orbitals. Or, no, I only have one. Never mind. I thought I had another one. Never mind. I'm stupid. Um, we'll get rid of you. And I think that'll probably do it for this floor. Not much else we can really do here. And we're going to fight Gish, who's a great item to get. That's not even uh, something to be mad about, either. Our tears are great. Our damage is okay. We're going to have slowdown effect from Gish. We're also going to have Demon Baby for up close and personal encounters. We have an Emperor card for the late game. I'm starting to think this is probably going to be an okay ending. I don't see it as a guaranteed win, but I see it as a pretty good chance of winning. I always see myself as winning because I'm not a loser like that. I don't like to think I'm going to lose because I have to wake up in the look in the mirror and say, God damn, am I a sexy savage? Every girl wants this dig inside of them, so that's how I view my life because then when you don't have any self-esteem, that really helps. Exactly, and then I comb my hair and a lot of it falls out and I say I am an ugly son of a bitch and then... You know, it's really irritating when you, you comb your hair and you have it fall out. It's a really just dick move feeling you don't really want to experience. Alright, so we got Little Gish. It's great. And we go and go fight our mom boss fight. If we got a pentagram from this, I'd say this is like a pretty much one run. I wouldn't say it's guaranteedly one, but it's pretty damn close to being one at that point. Because another damage upgrade would be pretty much ludicrous at this point. It wouldn't be like insane but it would be ludicrous you see what i mean not the rapper i'm talking about the uh you know the act of being scary and uh unbelievable it's kind of hard to explain synonyms that's kind of why the english language is so stupid the english language and i had some conversation with someone at work about this i'm like spanish is a lot easier to learn because spanish conjugation is a lot more simple well it's not really simple but once you get the idea of the root words the spanish words it's really easy to uh, understand, but then you have English, you have like words like red and red, which have no phonetic difference. In, in Spanish, red and red, like I'm talking about read and red, you know, they, they are spelled the exact same, but in Spanish they're spelled um, like, I'm trying to remember what the word is off the top of my head, but I can't really think. You know what I mean? It's, it's all different. Conjugation is different. In English language, it doesn't have the most beautiful conjugation, which makes it really difficult to understand. So Cat of Nine Tails, I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't want to tempt fate with that right now. Um, it's just not really worth destroying my current tears. Um, don't be cursed of the lost. It's, it is. God damn it. Um, this is what I don't like is if I find my boss room very early, it's interesting. Because if I find a boss room very early, I can make use of the rerolls because I, I have decent enough damage to make this kind of worthwhile. Let's get rid of you. There's that. And, uh, okay, there's a sacrifice room. Not really something I'm interested in. I'm not really into self-sacrifice. I don't enjoy hurting myself as much as you think I would. Um, it's not really fun either. You'd be surprised. Self-pain is not really a really good thing to do. Um, uh, psh, I'm not going to lie. I've done it before. It's not really worth it. If you're going to go ahead and be like, oh, you emo, f you know, emo F word, whatever. It's like, dude, come on. You're going to try a little bit harder than that. I've been called worse by people and, you know, scared people enough afterwards. But either way, it's not really worth it. Don't do it. The scars are pretty cool sometimes, but uh, not all of them look very good. Um, I, I just like I think of that one video I watched by Zero Punctuation and um, his friend. Um, I don't remember his name of this friend. He's like, I take my shirt off and I got all these scars. And I'm like, dude, so do I. And I'm not gonna be like, dude, look at all my pain. It's not really worth it. It's not really gonna make you a better person. This is from someone who like had no friends or social life until he was like 15. So I have some excuse. 
It's like, dude, you want to talk about pain? Listen to me, bitch, about things. I don't know. It's something I'm really comfortable talking about. But it's easy enough to explain. Damn, I really hope the boss room is down here. Because this is, like, going to be... I don't want to go through the womb and not have rerolls ready. I'd really like... To, I don't mind. Here's my thing. I don't find the womb to be very challenging. If you have the ability to fly or spectral tears or anything like that, it makes it really easy. This is... Uh, tempting. So... Like, they're not really hard rooms. It's just the prospect of losing an entire heart is really scary. So the bean is a reroll. That was a dick move in my book. I probably should have went over there and picked up the bean first, but you know what? We're going to get another reroll. I don't want to deal with that shit. Um, I, 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 I hate when that happens. It's really an annoying feeling. Like the phenomenon. Whoa, I never knew you could do that. That's actually something I've never seen. Like, you saw him push the skull dude onto the rocks. I'd never seen that. That is an interesting concept. So I don't remember if the, um... If Judgment pulls with the, um... Devil... Not Devil Room, but the uh, Item Room or not. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I've looked that up. Because I don't read. I, I actually have not read a book in six years. I know that sounds like you're a writer and you don't read. How do... Very simple. I don't pick up books and read them because I write them and it doesn't feel very just to uh, read them, in my opinion, because it feels like you're just plagiarizing someone's work. It's like people are like, oh, you haven't seen a zombie movie. You've seen, you've seen Zombieland, right? I'm like, yeah, of course I've seen Zombieland. It came out like very, very early into my writing stage for my first book. They're like, oh, well, did you take inspiration from it? I'm like, hell no, I, I tried not to. It's hard to watch something like that. It's like, oh, have you played um, The Last of Us? I'm like, yeah, I played like 20 minutes of it. And I was like, this is like eerily, strikingly similar to the plot of my first book. And I really would like to stop playing it right now. Because it feels plagiaristic and I don't really enjoy that feeling. So we're going to fight Conquest, which I can't reroll, which is a major cock tease at this point. So damage-wise, I'm doing great. That's that's all I can really say we got going for us. We have two orbitals, slowdown effect, and... Really? Uh, we have two... I was like, where the hell did he go? Uh, and we also have, um, you know, two sh shooting familiars, basically. So we have a little bit of extra damage in the long run, but not a whole lot of extra damage. We're doing good. That's all I can say. We have a lot of spirit hearts. My deal with the devils weren't really, really badly used, I guess you can say. I didn't get too risky. I didn't get too easy, though. I didn't... I got a damage upgrade. That's pretty much all I've received over the course of the devil runs is i've only got that i haven't got super super game breaking items i got a pretty good start i have a decent work show me what you're working with shake ass god that song just makes me laugh every time i hear me it makes me think of when gta 4 first came out i know people like oh gta 4 when they like look up that song it's called shake ass by mystic they're like oh gta 4 brought me here i'm like dude that song has been out like years before that fucking game has even been out or like um like people look up things like um, yeah, d damn it, like, uh, 99 Red Balloons by the Goldfinger cover. They're like, oh, Rocket Power brought me here. I'm like, dude, that song has been around before Rocket Power was even out. It's like, or, uh, Sweet Dreams, the cover by Marilyn Manson. Like, oh, um, that one movie, I don't know what it's called because I don't watch movies. Um, it's like, really? That song's been out since, like, 2000-something. It's like, no. Or, like, they think Gamer. It was in Gamer, if I'm not mistaken. I did not like Gamer. It was a fucking weird-ass movie. It just really made me feel uncomfortable watching it. I was like, eh. <laughs> it was nothing for what it portrayed it to be as, I guess you can say. It just didn't feel like it was a... It just didn't feel very comfortable to watch. I didn't enjoy it. Okay, Polyphemus again. Okay, this is um, starting to look a little bit uh, sketchy, but... Um, I just took a step back for a second there and had to think. So now we have Polyphemus... And uh, really good tears, spectral tears damage. This is starting to look very reminiscent of my last run. And that's not like to say it's a bad thing. It's just really funny. I know I could have used the cube of meat to kill him. But you know what? Grow a pair. Anyways. Polyphemus is an amazing item. That's all there is to it, really. I thought I could fly for a second. But yeah, Polyphemus is not necessarily a game changer. It's a game winner. There's no denying it. As soon as you pick this item up, you're guaranteed to win. The damage upgrade it comes with passively along with um spectral tears and the amount of tears upgrades i've received over the course of the game 
it's guaranteed to carry me throughout the game along top of Gish, which will slow enemies down, on top of Demon Baby, le lean in some good damage on top of it. This is essentially a one run, assuming I don't take ridiculous damage. Um, I feel bad to say that, but <laughs> I'm sorry if you expected me to lose, basically. Um, now, I really would like to use the Emperor card here, but whole. Um, I really don't know. I might use it on the Isaac fight. I don't really consider using the Emperor card on the Blue Baby fight when you have the D6 to be very effective. It's more effective on the Cathedral because there's no items. Well, there's item possibilities, but they that is a full health pill. Um, they generally don't provide you with as great of a benefit because you're missing out on rerolls. Um, even though the chest can be very difficult, the reroll possibilities make it very much worthwhile. Because at that point, you can get anything. And anything goes at that point. That, that's why I, that's my philosophy on using the Emperor card falafel um, on, you know, chest. Because it's ch chest is a really good potential for everything to happen. I might as well just pick that bomb up because it was a waste of my time. Okay. Falafel's alright. I don't really eat meat, so it's kind of a... Yeah, people are like, oh, you're a vegetarian, are you? You work at Burger King. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. I, I'm not a vegetarian. Vegetarians are fucking weird. Vegans are even weirder. Okay, I'm not going to say vegetarians are all weird, okay? I used to be a vegetarian. So, that was a joke. If you can't take a joke, I don't know what to tell you. Um, the, the vegans are a little bit hardcore. I don't really like vegans that much. They're a little bit more... Uh, I met quite a few vegans, and I'm just like, you're a little bit creepy. You need to, like, calm the fuck down. Um... I don't agree with killing things either, so as, as contradictive as that sounds, we'll definitely take an HP upgrade. Um, a little, as a little bit of a contradiction as it sounds, I, I don't think that um, eating meat's a bad thing or is it a good thing. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. That's all I can say. I just don't like uh, the prospect of killing things. I w I've been hunting before, and I'm not going to lie. I was good at it. I kind of enjoy it. Um, the thrill to kill, basically, but it's not really that for me. That's a tears upgrade. That's even better for me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say eating meat's a bad thing. I'm just going to say it's not something I really condone or disbelieve in. I, I, I'm not going to lie every now and then. I'm like, dude, I want a hamburger. So I'm like, hey, hey, guys, can you make me a hamburger? That's it. So like, yeah, sure, whatever. It's not like a fucking juicy, giant sack of meat burger. Hidden, hidden Tinted Rock is always nice. It's like, I mean, like a BK burger, the like 89 cent hamburger that I get for nothing. Like, what, 40, 42 cents, I think. It's like some weird estimate. It's not the same as you think it would be. It's actually slightly down because um, there's a weird formula that goes through. Anyways, um, yeah, it's like I eat chicken, I eat fish, so fish is still a meat. I'm sorry. It comes off of a mammal. They still die. They still feel pain. That's like when people are like, oh, here's one thing I don't like about vegans. Like, oh, vegans are like, oh, at least we, we don't let our meat suffer i'm like dude you're you, as soon as you yank a vegetable out of the ground it is suffering and dying very slowly until it's digested into your body just because it doesn't have a sensory you know sensory thing does not mean it doesn't feel anything at that point so i don't really find vegan logic very logical if you will it's like yogurt if, if you're a hardcore vegan maybe eating yogurt and stuff then maybe then i i don't know i don't even think you're allowed to eat I'm not sure. I'm not a vegan, so I can't really tell you. I don't think you're allowed to eat yogurt either, or most dairy-based product, unless it's soy. Eh, I don't know. I probably pissed off a million people at this point, so it doesn't really matter to me. It's like, dude, I make people mad every day, um, so it's cool with my cool with my book. I'm a real-life troll, troll lol, lol, because trolling isn't an overused um, sort of word. Okay, I did not think that was gonna happen. I was just trying to get away from those flies. I was trying to avoid my confrontation. I don't like confrontations. All right. So the good thing is we're going to have a reroll ready for the chest, which we're definitely going to get to at this point. Mom's heart has more health than um, Isaac, if I'm not mistaken. So, All right. We have a decent chance of winning. Let's make that chance even greater. Oregon Lottery. Hashtag YOLO. I don't know. Let's see how we fare. I'm surprised that Edmund's not going to add, like, uh, different forms of the Isaac fight, if you will. You know what I mean? Where it's, like, blue Isaac or yellow Isaac or brown Isaac. I don't know. Some fucking, like, more difficult variations of Isaac. 
I'm surprised he's not done that, or theorized that at least yet. Because that's something that I think would make um, a very interesting dynamic in the game. Because, oh my goodness, I'm taking a shit ton of damage. Um, imagine that, like, actually a more difficult version of Isaac. That would be quite the uh, adventure, if, if you will. If you ever wonder how I focus this fight, it's actually by staring in one direction, not the band. Because boy bands are never going to come back. Um, I mean, I stare in one spot on the screen and locate each shot individually and dodge around them. That's how I do this. It's seriously the only way I can do it. Um, we're doing okay damage, so Blue Baby shouldn't be much worse. But then again, we should probably get at least a couple decent items from the uh, chest haul. So I don't really see it as being going to be too difficult. Because we also have Gish, who is a major helper for this fight. Demon Baby should probably take care of the angels. That would be solid if you did that, bro. Hook me up. You know, fucking Zeusk.com, hashtag Christian Mingle, hashtag BlackPeopleMeet.com. I don't know. That is like the most somewhat racist like thing I've ever seen on TV. And I thought, oh my god, that is like so risky. How can they get away with that? And then I tried to watch Naked and Afraid, and I said this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. What has TV done? And then I stopped watching TV even more. Aw, oh, damn. I thought I wasn't going to take damage on the Angel Feasts, but, well, shit was I wrong. So let's keep going. I, I don't know why that that's even, like, something worth watching. I'm sorry. If you like that show, more power to you. But for me, it's like, that's the fucking stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. So none of this shit is good. Um, I'll definitely take Stigmata. Uh... Chocolate milk is interesting. Let's just take it and the hourglass. I'm actually going to take the hourglass into the Isaac fight or the blue baby fight. I find it to be probably a little bit better. That sounds really strange, I know, but this is my idea. Don't knock it till you try it. How's that? My god, my tears look all sorts of fucked up. But we're doing really good damage, and I really hope that I... Oh shit, I should have probably had that health up or health upgrade pill or health full health pill would be probably more beneficial at this point. I probably should not have taken this, is what I'm thinking. You know, let's let's do that. Let's take uh the D6 back and just see what we can get before we end the game. Um I'm not seeing myself as maybe gonna do too bad, but uh Pestilence is a scary one here. I'd really like to get him out of here. Okay. I haven't used chocolate milk in a long ass time, so this is interesting. I know how it works, I'm just too lazy to do it. I know a lot of people don't like smashing the button, it doesn't really bother me all that much. I grew up as a console gamer, I can smash buttons all I damn well want, so I only have five hits left to get to the end of the game. Seeing myself winning, yes, I still see myself as winning, assuming I don't take really bad damage. I still have scapular, mind you. Um, it might not come in handy, but it might. I'm kind of glad we're fighting the harder version of uh, War here, because it's a little bit easier in my opinion. Yeah, that's right, you dick. Exactly. That was the, the hit song from the 1950s. You little did you fucking know. You get a job was actually, you dick, you dick, you dick. Exactly. Exactly how that song went. Doo-wop should come back. That's something I kind of enjoy. Doo-wop is like the most interesting concept of like music choice in my opinion. It's like... I don't know, that was like my worst doo-wop impersonation ever, but I don't know. You know, it's like, I'm kind of at the, okay, I thought that would have exploded earlier, I'm so sorry. I like doo-wop, but it's kind of weird, you know, it's like, nowadays you look back at it, it's like the dubstep of the 50s, everyone did it, and it was like, uh, it's really weird, because it was kind of like scatting, where you just like make noise, and it kind of like makes uh, music in a way. Which isn't to say it's bad, it's just, it sounds really funny nowadays, you look back, it's like, it's like, dude, that's like something that sounds like you're making fun of this mentally handicapped person. That's not funny at all. <laughs> so, alright, here's our boss room, we'll do a one more reroll on the uh, last item in here. I'm gonna get rid of Famine, because he's just an asshole. Um... Yeah, it, it's, it's funny, isn't it? Now that you think about it, it's like, doo-wop sounds like really hilarious because it's it just sounds really funky I, I don't know it's got a unique sound to it in the 50s and 40s had some of the best music though of all time though there's no denying that I'm not gonna sound like a hipster 
But uh, that's one reason I do enjoy um, the Fallout soundtracks, mainly because I love the 40s and 50s style of music the most of anything. Um, hello, Greed? Um, no. How about you just go to hell? Let's just leave you alone. Gonna do our last reroll. You could probably say I should kill Greed and get the reroll from him, but you know what? I don't feel like it. Let's see. It is gonna be a speed and range upgrade, which at this point is a little bit unnecessary, so maybe next time you'll think of me and your hands will get really shaky and you'll have to just control yourself. Um, so Little Gish should probably be the uh, unsung hero of this run. This is getting really scary already. My damage is too good. That's what I'm trying to get at. My damage is way too good for this. Um, and I'm firing way too fast. Um, if I win this, it's going to be really good. Is all I can really say. This is fucking terrifying. Um, I forgot that Blue Baby did so much fucking shots like that. It's been a while since I've done this. Especially with chocolate milk. Um, I know a lot of people don't like chocolate milk. I, I find it as an okay item. It's not bad. So we're not going to get a scapular charge. So we've essentially got to make good use of these last three hits of our life. Because um, it's not going to go anywhere else either. It's a little bit tense. Um, I don't want to fuck up here. But we can probably pull this one out and have a nice shiny example at the end of it. As it flails all over the place and just squirts uncontrollably. Let's hope that's how it ends. Um, everyone hopes that's how it ends. Goddamn, fetuses are in my fucking way. I'll, he's dead. There's like no denying it. Um, don't die before I do. There we go. And we even get a heart for our safety. Uh, this would be bullshit if I died on these guys. Yeah, I, I might have screwed myself over with my last priority rerolls, but we did win regardless. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun. Really strange topics. A lot of interruptions, but hey, it just goes to show you that portable slot can be a very good, viable item in the right circumstances, which were, those were the right circumstances. Computer turned into a jet, bombed the Russians, now I'm dead. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys had a good one. And remember, stay classy, stay sexy, stay smart, stay in school, don't do drugs, drink the booze you lose. So, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying?